Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another FIFA 13 video. I can't wait to be bringing you guys all this FIFA 13 stuff. I've got quite a bit. I've got at least enough to get me through to the demo. So you guys can expect FIFA 13 uh, gameplay all the way to the demo. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it anyway. So today we've got Real Madrid versus Chelsea. Um, I was scrolling through, you know, we didn't, we couldn't decide which team to pick at first. So um, you guys are getting a look at a whole bunch of different ratings for the teams. But um, yeah, so I did say, you know, yesterday if my video did really well, I think it was like four. 4,000 likes or something, then uh, I'm more than happy to upload this one. Uh, yesterday, uh, I uploaded a career mode video as well as a Barcelona versus PSG video. And um, if there's not already annotations to that video, there will be uh, links to those videos in the description if you're interested in checking those out. But uh, yeah, so I said, you know, if that hits, you know, solid likes and things like that, I'm more than happy to upload this. And you guys killed it. It was crazy. You guys went nuts. It was like six, almost 6,000 likes on it. And, uh, you know, that was just so awesome. So huge thanks for that, guys. Uh, really do appreciate it. But um, here we have uh, Eden Hazard. And he was a big talking point for me. He's a really good player in this game. But uh, I have to admit, I feel as though EA kind of shortchanged him in the sense that I do feel as though he's one of the one of the few deserving five star skillers in the Premier League. Um, yeah, I do think he should be five star in this game. He is only four star skills. Um, obviously, Torres there being downgraded from 86, I believe he was, um, down to um, 84. And you know, there's always these sort of debates about ratings, and I don't like to. I don't even like to talk about the ratings too much. I mean, on my Twitter the other day, I did a little bit, but I did make sure everyone knew that a lot of this could change. And uh, that's the reason why I haven't uploaded uh, rating videos, uh, for the reason that that stuff is constantly changing. Um, there's his brother, um, Hazard's brother, and uh, he's, he's just really not that good. But uh, yeah, Torres, he's got four-star weak foot, four-star skills at the moment. But uh, like I said, all that stuff could easily be changed. There's Cristiano Ronaldo's stats. Again, 92 overall. What a monster. Those stats are huge. Um, yeah, seriously, 92 overall. Um, him and Messi have, you know, uh, stayed the same as far as stats go. Not too much change, but, um, you know, when it comes to these ratings, they are going to be very similar. It's just going to be maybe one or two of the, the individual stats might be changed, and uh, possibly the weak foot and skill moves will be changed. But besides that, that will be it. And, uh, I mean, just take a look at those traits. Wow. You know, it, there's not many players you have to scroll through the traits to see, um, which is pretty incredible. There you go. Like I said, Fernando Torres there with four-star weak foot and four star skills so anyway um into the gameplay it took us a little while eventually there you know two minutes 40 seconds in and now you're getting to see some gameplay but uh yeah so chelsea versus real madrid chelsea i found a really good side in fifa 12 i have to admit i i did enjoy using them again in fifa 13 they're very much like they were in fifa 12 they're not my go-to team to use but uh, they're a team i definitely enjoy using and uh, with the likes of hazard in there torres is another good player uh matters a fantastic player storage is actually really good in this game as well um in fifa 12 especially on ultimate team he was lethal but uh, most certainly uh this team is pretty nice o uh, oscars in the squad as well well, but let me talk a little bit about the Real Madrid side. You know, that's a big talking point as uh, far as, um, you know, the game goes. Everyone used Real Madrid. Real Madrid was the squad to use. You wanted that Ronaldo on the team. And uh, again, he looks very powerful in um, in this game. A lot of people ask me, which who feels better? Would you say Messi or Ronaldo feels better? Again, I'm going to have to go with um, the likes of Ronaldo. But I have to admit, Messi is drastically improved in this game compared to what he previously was and that was a big talking point um, talking point for me because I do feel as though um, Messi does Messi deserved to be better in the game because he was pretty poor in all honesty um, in FIFA 12 you know he, he was quick he was quick off the mark had good dribbling but uh, stats like dribbling and passing really didn't make much of an impact within the game of FIFA 12 um, it was all about the pace which he had a lot of and uh, his right foot was pretty weak as well but uh, in this game it, dribbling passing all that has a lot to do with the game and uh, for that reason reason Messi is much better than he than he was previously and um you know that that, that, that really made me uh that really kind of excited me because these new breed of players, you know, instead of wanting to have pace and skill in your team, you really want to go to want to uh, going to want to focus on the passing and dribbling stats as well. Um, another big feature in the game, you know, I, I spoke a lot about it in the last in the, the PSG versus um, uh, PSG versus Barcelona game. I spoke a little bit about it, and look how close this is. I couldn't believe it. I got so lucky. Threw on goals. Typical Torres, just putting it wide. Well, the old Torres, anyways. He's a, he's a, he's getting he's getting back into the swing of things recently. But uh, yeah, so you know that's what I did. Um, 
I can't remember what exactly I was just talking about, actually. Um, I'm sure it was something important. I'm sure I'll uh, remember it again. Oh, yeah, it was, um, you know, messy. And, you know, instead of having those skilled players in the middle, um, instead, um, you're going to want players who have got really good passing. And uh, Japes is wiggling his weenie around. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, so you really want to want to have the players with good passing and uh, good dribbling in the midfield so they can set up the players um, on their runs because the attacking AI, like I said previously, um, they start to make really good runs runs and the last thing you want is someone who's making these class runs and uh, just no one to feed him the balls through and uh, that's definitely the thing that I found to be really really important in the team and uh, one of the one of the big things that I was actually asked as soon as I mentioned FC Porto um, had had you know f some four star skillers in there had uh, some five star skillers as well people were instantly really interested in it and I came so close to getting the goal there unfortunately it wasn't meant to be but I actually scored a pretty nice uh, rainbow and then four Followed by the volley, which looked pretty cool at the time. But uh, the standard of goals recently have been incredible. Uh, I've seen a lot of. There's a lot of uh, guys that I w that were I was at the event with, and they have some incredible goals. And at last, finally, take a look at that. At last, you know the the amount of times I've done that in FIFA 12. My keeper has gone out. Um, I had to go and get the ball, wipe the player away, and nothing is given. Um, at last, finally, um, you know, he wasn't given the red card, but they can't send off red cards in online games. Uh, to keepers, that is. Um, they can't give keepers red cards in online games. But uh, that's it for me, guys. I hope you all did enjoy this video. Um, it'd be great if you, you know, click the screen right now if you'd like to see uh, Barcelona vs PSG. Um, I also, like I said, I uploaded a career mode video, and that link will be in the description. And subscribe for more FIFA 13, because I will be putting more...